We now welcome to Ebru today Jim Harrington, a human rights attorney with nearly four decades of experience and founder and director of the Texas Civil Rights Project. Harrington is the author of Wrestling with Free Speech, Religious Freedom and Democracy in Turkey, The Political Trials and Times of Fatul Golen. First, we'd like to find out what made you write that book. Well, you know, I was on an interfaith trip to um, Turkey and I uh, uh, after I came back, um, I thought about it and was approached uh, about writing this book that uh, no one had written anything about the interface of a political trial and the further democratization in Turkey. So I took a year and a half uh, of evenings and weekends and, and came up with a book. It was fascinating. I've always been interested in international human rights, and this gave me an opportunity to uh, talk about the development of democracy in Turkey and the interplay with the European Union as it seeks to join them. And he specifically is a very fascinating and important presence. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, uh, he's had a lot to do with building a civil society in, uh, in Turkey and enhancing, helping the uh, middle class develop in Anatolia region on the Asian side and has pl played a major role, I think, in trying to democratize and bring civil liberty to the country. And this was basically a political trial, the establishment resisting that, and, you know, we see that happen quite often. What was unique about this political trial is that usually people lose. And in this case, uh, Fatullah Golan uh, won the trial, took eight years, and uh, won the trial. But the whole interplay that went on during that time, I think, was uh, very influential in strengthening uh, democracy and civil liberty in, in Turkey, religious freedom and press freedom. So it was fascinating development. During the course of writing your book about him, did you get a sense that his accomplishments were being watched in countries surrounding uh, Turkey? Where, where his, did you see his influence spreading? Oh yeah. I, I think that's the thing that's impressed me, is that it's become a, a movement that really is mo uh, external and it's reached out to other countries. It's very active in the United States, very active in, in uh, Europe. You know, and this uh, idea of uh, developing more civil society, becoming more democratic, and working and developing institutions that are not necessarily political, but uh, bring about more participation in society. So mm -hmm. I, I think that you do see it expanding. I think it's, it's fascinating to me that you see a religious movement that has a uh, Sufi Islamic base uh, reaching out to other uh, religions and trying to uh, get folks to understand each other and work together. Um, I think it's a, it's a good lesson for the state of the United States, of, of our country at this point where we have so much uh, polarization and lack of dialogue mm -hmm. is to have a movement come along and say, you know, we, we, may not dis we may not agree on stuff, but we need to talk about it. And then if we can find common approaches or common solutions, we ought to do it. Right now we have so much polarization. Sure. Don't we see know. a similar set setting where, uh, <clears throat> between the Israelis and Palestinians, where the women have come together and said, enough of the bloodshed, let's, let's find common ground. Yes. I think that's very important uh, to do. And you see that happening. You see that happen a number of times in recent history, where people just get fed up and just say, we've got to make a uh, change. You know, and we ought to support that. I mean, certainly we ought to support what's going on with the women that you're talking about. But we also need to work in our own country. You know, it's just, uh, I, I, I've never seen the kind of polarization that we have. And we have such enormous problems, mm -hmm. you know, uh, education being an awful uh, problem Which for is us. common to both sides. Exactly. So why not try to get a solution? And that's what I, th I, I give great credit to the movement. Mm -hmm. And the emphasis on the education, I think, is very important. I think the most important thing for us is to learn how to live good lives, right? And it doesn't matter if you're Catholic, as I am, or if you're uh, Muslim, or if you're Jewish, or whatever, right? It ha it, that's the idea, is to come together, to work together, and to uh, strengthen and foster the human community. And I think the movement contributes to that. And I, for that reason, I, you know, I, I just am uh, very impressed with it. Fascinating well, stuff. Yeah, it is. It is impressive. And hopefully it'll make its way more here so we become less divisive. Yes. Thank yes. you so much, really. My pleasure.